Hey book bloggers, I'm Kay Robinson of Kay Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms, and this is your book cover style guide quick look for Awaken. Awaken is the sequel to Slumber, a retelling of Sleep and Beauty in which Aurora is locked in a mental institute for murdering her boyfriend Philip. I happen to love Slumber, and I think Awaken is even better. And the good news is it really lends itself to our book image design. The cover of Awaken is very blue-toned, and your first instinct is probably to pair it with a blue color. But you have to be careful when you do this. Because the blue is so dark-toned, if you pair it with a dark color, especially a dark blue, it's going to drown out the book cover and not make it pop the way you want. I would recommend using light blues or light colors to really make the book stand out and make it the focus of your image. Because this book is rather simplistic on the cover, you can actually use a pattern underneath it to make it pop even more. Don't go crazy with your pattern, but a little something will add interest to your image. Another element you could bring in based on the book cover is that of a crown or a tiara. We know that this is going to be a book based on a princess or a queen because the cover image is of a girl wearing a crown. If you are designing your image based on the content of the story, there are a couple of really great elements that we can add into your images. The first thing I came across when I was reading is a scene where Aurora can smell the lavender floating in from the bath that is being drawn from her. So bath fizzies or anything that's frilly and spa-like you could put into your image as a nod toward that scene. You can also find Aurora drinking lavender tea in the book, and so a teacup would be the perfect accent for this image. You can add things like feathers to represent Raven and the chaos she creates throughout the whole story. Furthermore, you could take an apple and add it to your image because we know that there is a scene close to the end of the book where an apple becomes incredibly important. If you happen to be super creative, you could even make your apple glow. You can also do things like put your book in or near a boat. This is a great nod to a scene where the fairies are sent on a mission for Rory and require a boat to get to where they need to go to find something very important for her. You can also do things that represent Aurora. Things like crowns and tiaras, anything princess-like or royal would be perfect for this image. And of course, you can always do pink and blue dresses because we know these dresses are incredibly important to Rory's story. Whether you're basing your imagery on the cover content or the story content of Awaken, make sure that you keep the image very simple looking. You don't want to distract from the book cover. Don't cover up the title or the name of the author. And make sure whatever you do that you make the book pop so that your fans want to read what you have seen in this book. Stay tuned till the end of this video for a special bonus feature. I'm K.M. Robinson, K.M. Robinson Photography, and Reading Transforms. Stay inspired. Hey guys, you know that Reading Transforms started out as a photo series for me in which I took my models and had them reading a book in the image. The book transformed their wardrobe into that of the character they were reading about, and their wardrobe was made from the written word, newspaper. This is an image of Rory that I did for the chapter four installment of the Reading Transforms newspaper dress series. Check it out.